Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so the Three of Pentacles did not want to go back in the deck, so it must be the over all energy of the reading so working well whatever you're doing it looks like it's blessed okay because you're it's blessed because you are supposed to be doing this okay so you have uh god's blessing divinity whatever you believe in you have the blessing of divinity um it looks like you're getting some really good uh feedback because whatever you're putting out whatever you're producing is high quality you know people like it um, people are patronizing your business if you have one higher ups are looking at you if you work in a corporate setting or some type of structured setting um, people are you know they're looking at the work that you're doing maybe even co-workers or people who work around you are looking like wow you're doing really well um, you're working you can work you're working well in a team also okay it's just like a teamwork it is definitely making the dream work you may have employed some people that you love or you like or your friends um it's like you guys are working again working well together money is coming in life has come into some self-sustaining rhythm like you do this and then that happens you do this and then that happens it's like you've gotten a rhythm of this thing here it isn't exactly stable just yet like it would be in the four of pentacles but it is gaining momentum, a, a very strong, firm momentum in terms of what you do. It's like you post, you do something post or you, I don't know, it could be post. I don't know, you're putting something out there and people are really taking to it. Let's see what's going on here for Leo. Um, also, okay, music, you'd be putting something out in terms of music. People are taking to it. People want to collaborate with you. The four of cups don't get in your own way with the four of cups thinking that you're not good enough or the, the product that you're putting out is not good enough or, you know, it won't be well received with the four of cups here. You know, don't be so self-centered that you can't see the blessing that is happening or that has happened for you. Someone could feel as if, you know, um, this could be drinking, um, you know, drowning your sorrows in drink. Um, meditating on what wasn't what is maybe meditating on missing out or having missed out on something what else is going on here you have the ten of wands um so some of you this is um this is maybe even cracking under the weight of your own success so having so much to do being so high in demand that it is taxing it is stressful for you right now with the ten of wands coming out it also says being on autopilot watch out for your health you know you just continuing to do something continuing to show up to work continuing continuing and not really stopping taking stock of what is happening with either your health and your well-being maybe even your mental health the ten of wands also says um you know, just engaging. This could even be like strenuous, tiresome work. This could be someone trying to make you the scapegoat or maybe you, okay, somebody is causing a lot of drama in a relationship or there was a lot of drama in a relationship here. You may even be looking back on yourself and seeing that maybe you were the cause or you did cause or I don't know, something, something about cause here. Yeah, eight of cups. So we've got heavy drinking. We've got drowning sorrows. We've got um disappointment disadvantage discontent something that you drink it could even be you know alcohol or it could be i don't know, sugary drinks something about maybe exercising new exercise routine or this is what you need to get involved in you need to do something different you need to walk away from what you have been involved in it is not best for your health at this time with the eight of cups here Maybe even best for your mental health with the Eight of Cups. This could also self analysis. It's like, okay, that's where we're getting. Some of you happen to evaluate yourself and seeing where you really are and seeing what is really happening and seeing what, you know, the cause is or if you are the cause or how you can shift or shape or uh, mold um, your life, your existence. Some of you going on some spiritual retreat or you need to or you need to really delve into spirituality. 
some of you this is finishing something up and then moving on i'm going to finish this one contract job or whatever it may be and i'm moving on i'm going to follow my dreams my aspirations um it's calling to me it's something that i need to do you know that's how some of you feel um page of swords do your research in terms of whatever it is you're trying to you know embark on whatever it is you're trying to engage in with the page of swords here somebody's also trying to refrain from maybe talking to you too much or you're trying to refrain from having conversations with them because it just turns into arguments if this is a relationship then it's like we're going to finish out the lease or we're going to finish out this and then we're moving on or i'm moving on or i'm going to make a move or i'm going to strike out on my own or i'm going to do this it's like maybe getting yourself in a place where you can have option or have options what else do we have to tell Leo? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Something about a cycle. You keep finding yourself at the same place with the same person doing the same thing. Eight of Pentacles. Wash, rinse, repeat. It's like you're going to save your money or save your energy or have some type of um, reserve here, reservation for. Because it's like if I can get this up to a certain amount, then I can do this. And that's a. it could even be in terms of a physical move or it could be making a move in your career and finance also. The Eight of Pentacles says doing something over and over again, getting it to a self-sustaining energy. You already have a rhythm of life and now you need to get something, maybe a new business because the Eight of Pentacles can talk about new business, getting it up and going to where it can run on its own. Right now, it's running by way of energy from you putting a lot of energy effort time into it and that's what you have to do but the nine of pentacles would be independence from it's just money coming in or it's already established so it's like you're really trying to get something established here and working hard at it it says don't give up you're in the, right at the brink of it all uh finish what you start be uh, prudent with your money where you spend it how you spend it just because somebody wants to have a good time doesn't mean that you need to go and have a good time with them watch your money some of you are trying to move or move on it could even be from a relationship the queen of wands trying to attract new energy maybe even walking into your life purpose because the queen of wands talks about life purpose when we start to walk in our life purpose all other things kind of fall in place whether it is we want a new love or we want a new this or that kind of falls in place but it's about getting in that place where you where you were created to produce whether that is um that you were created to do tarot card readings or you were created to um entertain in some fashion we did see music come out you need to be doing that thing because everything else in your life will fall into place if you feel like your life is out of whack or out of place or you feel like Things are out of whack for you. It's because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, what your purpose is. So find life purpose here. Um, the Queen of Wands does what she wants, how she wants to do it. It's charismatic, out funny, funny, okay, outgoing, funny, affectionate also. Let's see uh, what's going on here for Leo. I like you. All right, so someone likes you. Someone likes you. Okay, romance is blooming, flirting. They want to date. Someone wants to date you. Um, but you may be saying not today. You're just not dealing with it. You're avoiding conversation. We saw that with the page of swords. Like, I just don't want to talk to you because I'm still angry or it's going to turn into an argument. That's how you feel about a particular person. These could be two different dynamics, though. Like, it doesn't have to be the same person. Hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic. We just saw that with the fool cards. Like, you really want to follow your dream, even if other people feel like it's a pipe dream. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of the future. So some of you could be coming. That Those issues could be creeping up into your mind, into your emotions in terms of, okay, what is the future going to be like? Um, someone's missing you it's like somebody's trying to work on rebuilding um but something is repetitive you know you just keep working on it and you just keep coming back to the same cycle so it might need to be that it needs to be a separation here this is what i have for you leo if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below go over um catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i do collective reading and i answer questions thank you many blessings to you take care